Okay, so let me see here, make sure that we are live. Get this party started whenever you're seeing me. Okay, check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to the 4% Entrepreneur Show. My name is Vic Streisius. And i um, excited to be back with you here again for another episode of Traffic Generation. A lot of you have been asking about traffic. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive deep into the traffic. So we're good right now. Okay. All right, so how's everybody doing today? Everybody doing good? All right, so I've got, a, I've got a, a really detailed session for you today on traffic generation. How many of you here watching me live, and um, we are going to record this, how many of you guys need help with traffic generation, right? Because what we talked about uh, on previous episode of the, the 4% Entrepreneurs, we talked about there's, there's a process to doing great in whatever it is that you're doing, right? So when it comes to marketing, there, you know, everybody wants money, so just a quick recap, what precedes money? Guys, because everybody's like after money. What precedes money is sales, all right? And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna tackle this process one by one. Uh, and uh, what precedes sales is being able to convert, right? Conversions, all right? And what precedes conversions is we need to have somebody to convert. So that would be list, all right? And then how do we get that list is we drive traffic all right so this is these are one two three four four pillars uh the the process of marketing right so any marketer any entrepreneur doesn't matter what it is that you're promoting if you master these four pillars in your business in whatever it is that you're doing brick and mortar or online you know anything right if you can get visitors you can capture those visitors, and then you do something here, which we're going to talk about in future episodes. Today, I want to talk about traffic, okay? Let me know if you're, if you're pumped about traffic, about this, this particular topic here, yeah? Let me know in the comments real quick here. If you guys like this, I would appreciate the, the likes and shares and whatever you can do to spread the word around because um, what I'm actually going to do, see, I've been a student of traffic generation uh, for over well over 13 years now. My first year as an internet marketer promoting you know, other people's programs. I did not understand traffic, I did not understand list building, conversions, none of that stuff, right? Um, and so some of these things are, are science as well as art. When it comes to traffic generation, traffic generation is more science than art. There's a little bit of an art to it as well. Uh, and so when I became a student of traffic generation, I literally bought everything, you know, going back 13 years ago, because one of my mentors said, Vic, you gotta master two things. If you can get people to your, to your site, and if you can convert them, right, to whatever it is that you're, that you're selling, uh, and you understand the process, and you can do it predictably without depending on anybody, then you can write your ticket. And I really wanted that, you know? Um, and so I started to, to, to master traffic, and um, I got pretty good at it. You know, my, my personal best, this is, you know, just to give you perspective, if you have you just maybe tuning in or you don't know uh, much about some of the th you know, things that we were able to do here with, in terms of traffic generation, promoting other people's products as affiliates and just building teams and all that stuff, my personal best was over 500,000 visitors, okay, in traffic to a website that I was promoting. And that resulted in obviously a lot of, you know, huge list, converting people, sales, and then this whole process, what I'm going to be showing you here starting today, okay, uh, and then over the next, uh, the next couple you know, episodes as we dig into this model here, okay, see it's a process. If I, am, if I master each one of those pillars, this right here becomes a byproduct. This right here is just going to be there by default. I don't have to push it. In fact, I never ever create a push type you know, environment in my business. Like, I do not want to position myself as a marketer, whereas a lot of marketers out there, they're just pushing, they're shoving, they're, you know, they're out there grinding all the time to get this. My approach is different, and so I'm gonna walk you through my approach today on this episode, specifically as it relates to traffic generation. Let me tell you something. If you want to have a lot of this, if you want to have a lot of this, okay, if you wanna have a lot of this, this is, an if, this is a result of what you have going on over here, okay? So if you approach this campaign strategically the right way, like I'm gonna show you today, okay? If you are going a certain way about generating that traffic, that first visitor, the rest of the process becomes easy. If you don't do this properly, this becomes hard, 
okay? Uh, and so here's the thing when it comes to traffic, okay? Traffic generation is not a rocket science. However, most people in our space, most entrepreneurs, marketers, they just do it wrong. They're not doing it correctly. And so um, the easiest thing I can tell you, uh, kind of put it into a metaphor or maybe comparison is like this. If you want to get great in the game of basketball or soccer or football, it doesn't matter, right? If you want, let's, let's take a look at basketball here, for, for example. If you want to get great in the game of basketball, what do you first need to understand? You've got to understand the rules of the game, right? Rules of the game. If you don't, if I don't understand the rules of the game, um, and I never learned the rules of the game, and I never play by the rules of the game, I just start throwing the ball and, you know, kind of see what happens. Will I ever become a professional in a game of basketball? The answer is absolutely not, never, right? When it comes to traffic generation, I'm telling you, there are rules for traffic generation, okay? And most people don't follow those rules. Uh, if you follow the rules of traffic, traffic generation will be easy. So recently what I did is uh, I've created a program called Internet Traffic Mastery. How many of you guys are in Internet Traffic Mastery here, right? It's uh, if, from the 4%. Uh, and, um, and the very first module of that program, before we start digging into the traffic, there's 12 specifically, there's like 11 specific traffic channels, which we will be talking about. Uh, I'm going to show you um, today, because I follow a model, right? There's a model for me. There's a model for my conversion. This is my conversion model. I'm going to be walking you through that you know, in the upcoming um, episodes. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, which a lot of you guys are, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We will be putting up a lot of content. I will be diving into my conversion model. But this conversion model has all these components in place. I also have a model for traffic generation. Okay, and I follow this blueprint. It's a specific model, scientific, right, that gets me predictable results every time when I follow it. Okay? And if somebody who is new, they're not aware of it, uh, they're going blindly throwing things against the wall and kind of see what's going to stick. So today's episode might be a little bit longer. What I would really encourage you to do is, is, is pay very, very close attention to what you're going to see. Because what I decided to do is I said, you know what? I want to deliver to you one, some of the best information I can. Okay? And the, the best way that I can do that is I've decided to pull literally one of the modules from Internet Traffic Mastery. This is what we teach inside you know, the 4%. This is a premium level program. And what I'm going to do today on this episode is literally walk you through and get you in on that very first most important module or most important piece of information as it relates to traffic. And then we're going to dig deeper into the traffic generation and the rest. If we don't get this right right now from the get-go, the rest will be uh, will go wrong, right? It's kind of like, you know, b before you build something, there is a blueprint, okay? So it's understanding the rules, understanding the blueprint, um, how do you go about, you know, strategic uh, positioning and all that stuff. And we're going to do that starting today, okay? So let me know if you're pumped. Let me know if you're excited about it. Um, if you already own Internet Traffic Mastery, um, I highly recommend that you still watch this because you will pick up something new that you did not pick up even when you went through that program, okay? If you guys are new, if you don't own Internet Traffic Mastery, I've got a, I've got a treat for you. This is a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal training that will, without a shadow of a doubt, if you follow it, it will take your game. It will take your business to another level. Uh, and you'll be playing the game like the pros do, not like the amateurs, okay? So with that said, let me go ahead and, and, uh, and cut right into the very first module from Internet Traffic Mastery because I explain exactly where everything starts as it relates to traffic. Let's go ahead and cut to that right now. Watch. Here we go. Module number one. Rules, strategies, the game plan. Let's get to work, right? So um, we've, got, we've got a lot of groundwork to cover here. So before we get into the specifics on uh, uh, traffic generation ideas and strategies and avenues and all these uh, things that most people think that they need to understand, right? Which, of course, you do. Uh, you need to know where to get traffic from and how, you know, how to do that. Before we get to that, okay, the, f the most important thing that we need to understand is the game of traffic, right? Because, look, game of traffic. Now, what is traffic? Now, I'm going to assume that, you know, look, I don't care if you are just getting started or if you are a veteran in, uh, veteran in the industry. Uh, we will have 
uh, this thing cover all the angles, okay? So I'll try to be as detailed as possible here with, uh, with this. At the same time, you know, we're not gonna leave any stone unturned on the stuff that's most important, what really matters here, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into this. Um, here is what we've got, okay? Here's what we've got. Um, we're just gonna keep it works, uh, workshop style here. Oh my goodness, look at all these 12 modules, right? We're gonna, we're gonna start with number one here, rules. Um, strategy, game plan, and we're going to get the specifics. However, let me pre-frame it for you, okay? Here's our outcome here. The outcome is as you get into traffic generation, right? Again, promoting whatever it is that you might be promoting, your goal is to how is is to understand, all right? How do you go about building your business or you know creating your uh, you know creating your promotions or campaigns or driving traffic in a way that will multiply your results with less work? Okay, so that means. The, the work that you're gonna do right now, right? The work that you're gonna be doing to get your traffic, to pay for traffic, right? To acquire traffic, to go siphon traffic from all these different networks that we're gonna discover, uh, discuss here. Your goal should never be to, you know, to have your, to, 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 to spin your wheels all the time and just grind all the time like your competition, okay? Your goal needs to be strategy. How do you do the work today? And so every single step that you're doing, every single thing that you're, you know, every single strategy that you're deploying out there in the marketplace, in your marketing, it's by design and it's, you're, you're moving in a way that uh, will eventually put you in a position to where you're doing less and less work, okay? But your results snowball on you, okay? Does that make sense? Where most people miss out is they're just like, they're going about this um, completely blindly, right? So they feel like they have to start from scratch all the time. Um, so how do you do this, right? How do you build yourself or position yourself, uh, put yourself on a, in a, in a, on, a, on, a, on a powerful side, if you will, as a promoter, right? So that the, 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 the more you build, the longer you go about it, the less work you have to put in and the more results you get. Well, here's what we need to understand, okay? Let's go ahead and expand this right now. Hopefully you can see this. I'll try to keep it nice and big for you here. There is four things we're going to cover here in this module, okay? Please take notes, okay? It's going to be very important for you to understand this. Um, if you don't, it'll be very, you know, it'll, it'll be kind of difficult for you to get significant results and certainly results that's going to allow you to dominate in the marketplace, right? So understanding the traffic rules. Now, just like I said, right, if you're going to play any game, you know, if you get into a boxing um, you know, ring or, you know, sports, whether it's in business, whether it's doesn't matter, you know, health or it doesn't matter. There is, you need to understand certain rules. You need to, you know, understand what to do and what not to do. So let's go ahead and get into this first, okay? There's going to be, I'll give you five rules of traffic, okay? Rule number one is this, is never waste, okay, traffic. Never waste traffic. This is rule number one. You always have to keep that in mind, okay? Never, ever waste traffic. What I mean by that? Here's what you need to do, okay? You need to capture and monetize, okay? You need to capture and monetize your traffic. So how do you do that? Again, it will be explained to you um, a little bit later on in this module here, but again, we wanted to, I want to make sure that we don't leave any stone unturned here, okay? Remember this, never waste the traffic. So when you, I'll, exp you know, I'll, I'll show you the traffic map here, a blueprint uh, that I personally like to follow, right? And would I advise you to follow as well. But every single click you get should never be wasted. It should be strategically captured and monetized, which we'll talk about in just a second here. Okay, rule number two, okay? Don't go for cheap, okay? Go for results. All right, how many people do you know? All right, how many people do you know? Maybe it's you, all right? That, that you know, I, I, can't, I cannot tell you how many uh, people um, I have coming to me or asking me this question, Vic, what's the cheapest traffic I can get out there? Okay, show me the cheapest traffic uh, uh, visitors that I can get to my website. That's not always what you want, okay? Cheap is not always good, okay? Usually, you know, you get what you pay for. So my, uh, my take on this one is don't go for cheap, go for results. I am willing to pay a little bit more to acquire a higher caliber of visitor, right? Higher quality of visitor uh, that will get me a result because at the end of the day, do you really need traffic? Think about it like this, right? What are you really after here? Are you really just after getting a visitor or are you really after getting the result that you can, uh, that you can achieve through that visitor coming to your website. See what I'm saying? So acquiring traffic is not the end game here. 
uh, getting traffic is just a means to something else, right? Because you need to have traffic, but ultimately what you want is you want to have sales, right? You want to have people who will be paying attention to you. That's really what you want. Not just people who will be paying attention to you, but you will be, you know, you, you, you need to understand how to build customers, how to build rapid buyers, right? People that will be buying from you over and over again. And therefore, you know, exchange of service or, or product that you're promoting, right, to these customers for money. And so that you can build your lifestyle that you want. Ultimately, that's what you want. So traffic is just a little, you know, thing that we need to go through. It's a milestone that we need to understand how to navigate through, right, uh, to, for you to get the end result that you really want. So getting cheap traffic is not always the best idea because you can get a, you know, I can show you how to get 50,000 visitors, like, you know, in the next 10 minutes. But if none of those people buy, it's not really, you know, a good strategy, right? See what I'm saying? So visitors don't really mean anything unless you know that those visitors are going to buy something, okay? So in the game of traffic, this is important to understand, okay? Um, all right, so rule number three. All right, so I don't want anybody asking me this question again. Like, what's the cheapest traffic I, you know, I can get, right? You, you should be asking, what's the, you know, how do I get the most results from the traffic that I'm getting? Okay, that's really the question that you should be asking. All right, so thing number, uh, rule number three, okay? It's not about, or I actually just say, it's not the product, okay? It's the offer. All right, it's not the product. It's the offer that's important. I'm gonna the, the keyword here is the offer. Okay, so whatever you know, whenever you get a traffic, you will be sending traffic to something that will capture that traffic, right? Hopefully, again, we'll we'll talk about it in just a second here. Uh, <clears throat> but most people make it uh, make a, 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 a fatal mistake in their business, thinking that you know if I can just get a whole bunch of traffic to this one product that I'm promoting, and they just send traffic straight to the product pitch page or whatever, right? Uh, then they'll get the results. It's not about the product necessarily, okay? So uh, understand this, okay? The product, um, where's my marker here? Let me see if I can, if I can um, map this out for you, okay? So this is your product here, okay? Let's say this is a product that gets you paid. Whatever this product might be, doesn't matter what niche it is. It can be health, it can be wellness, it can be make money, it can be social media, it can be consultant, whatever it is, right? And so you're sending the tra you think you're sending traffic to the product, Okay, most people do this, and so they think this is their end game. They think that people, your visitors right here, all right, when they're coming, your traffic coming to this page, uh, they most marketers think that these guys want the product. People don't want the product. It's the whole analogy of the of the drill, you know, selling a drill in a, you know in a hole in a wall, right? What do people really? If I want to buy a drill, do I really want a drill? Not really. I want a hole in a wall, right? So whatever this product produces, okay, result. Okay, this is what people really want. This is what these guys want. Okay, so when you send traffic, and we're going to talk about this as well. Um, uh, having this opportunity, I'm going to tell you. Uh, you know, I'm going to assume that you probably have access to the uh, mass promotion engineering uh, training that we have here in Four Percent. If you don't, really, really check it out because I really dive into the details on that one. You know, we're talking about actual like, campaign structures and things like that. So understanding this, that this person doesn't really care that much about the product as they do about the result that this product generates. So, what we need, okay, is we need to understand how to, hold on one sec here, let me get something to, uh, to erase this board with, okay. Uh, so we need to intercept this, this visitor, okay, with what we call an offer, okay. And our offer can be displayed, okay, in the form of a landing page, which is, it's not a rocket science, I'm telling you, right, so this visitor would be, you know, we'll move this guy over here. We're keeping it simple. We're keeping it, okay? So your landing page, which we're going to talk a little bit about as well, okay, this is your strategic positioning. Your landing page needs to be focusing more on this instead of this. So therefore, when you're sending traffic, it's not so much about the product as it is about what you're talking about that this visitor ultimately wants that your product can deliver, and then you're positioning it, okay, you're pre-framing it, capturing this visitor over here, Okay, you're building your list, which is uh, rule number one, all right, never waste traffic, all right, I'm, a little bit later on in this module here, I'm going to explain to you how, to, how this whole thing comes together, and I promise you it will make sense, right, even if you're brand new, you've never done this before, but I want to set you on a path to success from the get-go, instead of, you know, telling you things that, 
you know, might get your result occasionally here and there. I'm here, I'm not, like my intention here is to help you become independent entrepreneur that can drive any vehicle. This being a vehicle, right? It, it's not really, it's, this is not your business. Your business is this, okay? Understanding how to do this, okay? This is your business. This is not your business, okay? This is byproduct. You can be selling anything in the world you want to sell. If you understand the psychology of the buyer or psychology of the visitor, the offer, how to structure it, what to do, and how to ultimately build your list so that you can get a whole bunch of people here who are interested in this result, okay? And these products, there could be multiple products that you can be presenting to them. You can cross mix, you know, mix and match them, right? So you never waste by put, by putting this interceptor here called your landing page, right? They're talking about the result this guy wants or this girl wants. You're intercepting, so you're never you're never wasting a visitor. Okay, just a quick side note here. How would you waste a visitor potentially? Well, if you do like what most people are in your industry are doing, which is sending people directly to the to the sales page without capturing them, and there is something else I'm going to talk to you about, which is you know you know following them around and retargeting. Doesn't matter if they opt in or not. But if you don't have this mechanism here, which is simple, I understand. If you're being in the marketing space for more than two seconds, you're like, Vic, come on, man, really? You're talking to me about building a list here through a landing page? Of course, all right? But let me ask you a question. What are you, how are you marketing? See, what most people are doing is they're just sending these guys straight to this. But guess what? There's about 2% on average, okay? One to 2% industry average that if you send visitors or traffic straight to this page right here, that they'll buy. That means that 98 or 99% of visitors going straight here, they're what? They're wasted, right? That's, that's rule number one, is never waste a visitor. Never waste traffic, okay? We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. By putting this page here, you can capture anywhere from, you know, 20% to 60% of visitors. So immediately, see what I'm saying here? You, you, you might still lose, you know, 40 or 40 to 60% or 40 to 80% of these guys here. Okay, but at least you've got 20 to 60% that you captured that you can communicate to them over and over again, all right? And then the, the, the buy rate is gonna be a lot better than you know, if you position it properly, which I'm gonna show you how to do. But then there is another layer that I'm gonna talk to you about a little bit later on in the module. Does that make sense? Okay, so again, going back to rule number three, it's not about the product, it's about the offer, all right? That the product, uh, the result that the product can deliver. You see what I'm saying? So understand this. Keep that in mind for now as we go through the next uh, few, you know, few rules here. I think there's two more I'm going to show you here. Let me uh, get back to the screen. Hopefully this is making sense to you, my friend. Um, I, I'm not really concerned about like really just getting this, uh, putting this out there as I am about you getting this on a conceptual level and also um, at the level to where you, know, you like hey, I really understand this, not just conceptually, but I understand, I understand the why behind it. You know what I mean? Okay, so rule number four is this. Play strategically, okay, long term. Okay, and here's what I really mean by this one, okay? Uh, let me put it to you like this, okay? I'm gonna get back on the screen here. Going back to the same metaphor, okay? So here is what most people are doing in this space. This is what I'm, you know, I've, I've been privileged enough to now coach literally millions of people. Um, you know, we've got hundreds of thousands of people here in 4%, you know, having been uh, in this space for about 14 years now combined, I've seen a lot, right? And I see there's a pattern for people that are successful, you know, how they're engaged in their marketing, and there's a pattern for people that are failing and how they're engaged in the marketing, right? So most people, again, going back to this example here, most people will just send visitors straight to the offer, okay? I'm promoting this program or this company or this product or this service or whatever. They'll just slam a whole bunch of traffic here. They're gonna waste a lot of money on traffic, right? And may maybe, all right, maybe uh, get one to 2% conversion rate here and yay, they're, they're either happy or not happy depending on the product, depending on the result. Now, there's a, there's a problem here, okay? The problem is this. Uh, and I used to be like this, you know, early in my days. And this is when I was failing, you know? Uh, what's the problem here? Well, the problem is, if, if this product is very popular, okay, which is, hopefully it is, whatever you're selling, hopefully, you know, there's a big competition for it and there's a big demand for it in the marketplace, hopefully thousands of people are promoting whatever it is that you're selling, right? Otherwise, you know, if you're the only one selling something and nobody else is really selling it, that, I don't know if I would want to play that game, right? So you want to make sure that there's, like, I want to have big competition. Now, this becomes whoever gets lucky game, right? So 
you know, you're depending, you're, you're in the mercy of this product to convert, okay? So my play here is more of a strategic, okay? More of a long-term. What's the long-term play? Well, uh, look at it like this. This is not your business. This is something I, I talk about greatly in uh, a mass promotion engineering product as well. Your business is not the product or the company that you're promoting. Even if it's your company, that's not your business, okay? Your business is a reflection of who? Of you, okay? So your business is a reflection of you. So my long-term strategy for traffic generation, and again, we're gonna get into this a little bit deeper on a deeper level uh, in upcoming trainings as well, but my strategy here, instead of focusing on the product, which is a short-term, okay, quick result, hopefully maybe, you know, if you get lucky kind of thing, maybe one to 2% here, my, what's my end result, okay? My end result is to build my personal list, okay, that connect with me, okay? You become the face of whatever it is that you're doing. Look at Facebook, there's, there's you know, Mark Zuckerberg, right? You look at Tesla, there's Elon Musk. You look at, you know, the, the Apple, Steve Jobs was the face and the figure of that company, right? Probably the most successful company of all time. Um, certainly they probably have the most cash right now, right, sitting on hand uh, out of any company or maybe even any government right now, for that matter. Look, the product was great, but Steve Jobs was the guy who built that company, okay? So you look at your business, what you're doing, like I'm telling you about my business, what I'm doing is I am the person, okay, talking to you, the customer, the prospect, okay, and I am the face of this. Even though I might be selling a product here, Okay, internet traffic mastery here, you, you purchase this product. However, the way that I marketed to you, right, you probably connected with me, right, and you went through this, through this process right here yourself, right? You, this could be either maybe you, you know, maybe this is 4% group, and then you're pointing the product through the 4%, but you're looking for a specific result, which is helping you become a great marketer. Ultimately, what I want to do here, my end, my long-term game here, right, is to get you Okay, because you're either a member of the 4% or you maybe you're on my list, okay? But my long play here, I'm gonna be tra completely transparent with you, is to get you, okay, to connect with me on a personal level. Why is that important? Because this is how the business is gonna be done, right? Facebook, uh, through social media and everything that's happening in the world right now, the world is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So if you just depend on your product to deliver, right, your customer, will you'll, you'll have a short play you'll have a very very shallow business okay whereas my game like and this is going to be this is going to become more relevant as i'm you know as we get into the uh, uh more in detail of the you know of this course and you know what we teach in four percent as well which is your long game is strategic play through the ads you put out okay so the ads you put out there okay you can be putting out ads talking about the product a better ad would be talking about the result a better ad, yet even better, would be talking about you, okay, getting out there, right? Maybe it's a video uh, ad, maybe it's a, an image ad, maybe whatever, you know, there's different ads, we're going to get into this. But you starting to plant the seeds of maybe you, if you, if you want to become the face of your business, which you should be, okay, just my personal recommendation, um, is to start connecting yourself in, with the ad right from the get-go so these people can make a connection between you through the ad and you're talking about the result that these guys can achieve, right, through this purchase of the product. Does that make sense? Everything will be done in a way that is, um, you know, I mean, there's going to be a lot of subliminal communication going on. There's some, some, some very under-the-radar kind of stuff, right? Keep this in mind for now. I don't expect you to be my master of this yet, right? But I'm telling you, this is the, the game you should be playing. This is your long-term game. This is short-term game very linear, okay? Your long-term game is building you because you take, like this will follow you, okay? You can be promoting any company, any business. And if you build a big, strong bond with these customers here with your list or prospects and your list and they, they trust you, they start looking at you as, as an advisor, right? Maybe tomorrow or you know a month from now or a year from now, there's gonna be a different product. Either you create a different product or you know, or maybe you, you become an affiliate of a different product, maybe you start representing different products, something you believe in personally. These guys don't follow the product, they follow you. So you're marketing everything you do in traffic generation. This is just rule of traffic, right? You're playing a long game 
instead of a short game, very linear like most of the people out there. Make sense? So that every dollar you invest in acquiring these prospects here or these visitors to your landing page, every dollar you've invested is like a deposit, right? It's like an investment into your future. And if you, do, if you play your cards right, if you play your game right, uh, it will come back to you multiplied in results. Make sense so far? Okay. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. If, if, you know, if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm getting the, the ideas across to you properly here. Okay, let's go on and talk about uh, rule number five. Okay. This is very simple. How fun. It's a game. There you go. All right. These are your five rules, my friend. Okay. Rule number five. Have fun. Here's what I mean by this. Look. You will run campaigns that will not get you the results you want. Just a, just, it's just a game, right? You don't win every single game, right? But how you win is you focus on making yourself better every day, every week, every month, every year, no matter what, okay? Whether you lose or not, and, and you, will, you will have ups and downs, okay? On your, on your journey to becoming great at traffic generation, becoming great entrepreneur, marketer, look, you will be, you'll be, you'll have, you'll go through valleys, you'll go through highs, you know, you'll be like, yeah, I'm the man, I'm the, you know, I'm the, I'm the girl to somebody who might not be so confident in your abilities, right? It's okay, just stay the course. This is a game. So when you look at business as a game, right, suddenly your, your you know, your perception, your outcome kind of changes, okay? Um, with traffic, certainly you need to become like that mad scientist because you don't know, right? You be, you never want to be uh, just like another affiliate promoter, info marketer, you know, consultant, coach, author, speaker, whatever it is that you're selling, right? Service provider, whatever it is that you're selling, um, you know, you might be doing e-commerce, whatever. How can you differentiate yourself and make yourself unique? Okay, by doing this, what I what I told you. Uh, playing the long game, right? And you might need to split test a few things, right? You might, you might, you know, you might run a campaign and then you get some feedback and you'd be like, hmm, what if I, you know, what if I adjust my approach here? Or maybe if I try this strategy here, how is that going to work, right? Uh, so make it a game. This way you will not get overwhelmed. You will not feel frustrated. Uh, but most importantly, your, your, your outcome should be how can I improve myself, right? Through the, through the lessons, through the, you know, through the process. Uh, through the things that you will learn, good or bad, or anything in between, you should always look at everything as feedback, right, that you can course correct moving forward. Make sense? All right. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the, uh, so these are the, 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 the top five rules of traffic generation from me to you, okay, keep this in mind. Um, I want to talk about the, the two levels of traffic, okay, over here. So maybe we can close this out. Maybe, maybe I'll just leave it open, okay. Um, Level one, okay, is external, okay? Level one is external and level two is, you probably guessed it, right, is internal. Okay, so not all traffic is being created equal, okay? Uh, there is two levels of traffic, um, and I'll tell you this, maybe without, you know, without giving, getting into too much details here, because I don't want to uh, spend too much time just writing this stuff out here, okay? When we look at all these things here, all right, so you have all of these except one, okay? Um, all of these traffic channels, we've got influencer media traffic, right? The 24-hour traffic media, social media, uh, search media traffic, display, retargeting, CPA, um, syndicate, right? Perpetual traffic, traffic media X, all of these, okay? Um, excluding this first module, which we have here, which is rules that we'll talk about. So we got, you know, 10 out of 11 traffic channels that we're gonna be talking here. Okay, they're all external. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, they're all external. Okay, so we can just summarize this and just say, you know, ex level one is external, is um, uh, we call, we'll just call it advertising. Okay, advertising, getting visitors to your front door boom that's it okay 
internal, this is when people, and I'm going to explain it to you in just a minute here, okay? Internal is what you do when you acquire an opt-in, okay? This is your actual marketing. So, mar uh, marketing, okay? Now this, you know, somebody else might tell you something different. I'm not here to try to like tell you this is the only route to take or whatever, right? This is just my, you know, thinking about this traffic stuff, right? So whatever I do here, okay, whatever all these different traffic channels that I've got, you know, display media, CPA, social media, all these different traffic channels that we're going to acquire uh, and we're going to deploy, right? They're all going to this, you know, we should be capturing them. Okay, I'm gonna, in just a moment here, I'm gonna give you the traffic, um, the traffic map, kind of like a blueprint layout. Uh, and we're gonna talk about the three levels of traffic here for external traffic generation, okay? Uh, all of these activities here happening for one reason, one reason only, is for you to build your list, okay? Now, there's gonna be about 20 to 60%, depending on how good your converting, or, you know, capture mechanism is, or capture machine. Uh, your landing page, and I'll give you some recommendations here. Maybe I'll have a bonus module for resources, and you know, give you some pointers on how to, how, you know, how to improve your conversions here. Okay, but this is called external. This is what you do. You know, you run these different ads over here. Okay, all these different ads and social media, all this different activity, all right, happening outside, all right, to get people to your front door. This, no matter what it is that you're promoting, this becomes your front door, and this is where people get to see your difference, okay? So whatever your difference is, and hopefully you understand, and you being a smart marketer that you are, all right, being a member of the 4% as well, right, going through the challenge and going through the mass promotion engineering and all that stuff, you understand this big picture, the psychological stuff, right, how, how to communicate to these prospects in a way that gets them engaged based on the result that they're looking for, okay, that the product that you're promoting can deliver to them, make sense? It's never about the product. So what happens is you get these guys to opt in. You build your list. Now this becomes your internal traffic source because for this right here, for most of these right um, strategies, you have to pay money. You have to advertise, right? So you gotta acquire these guys. You gotta run ads, and you gotta do you know uh, you know whether it's network, whether it's PPC, pay per click, or display media. In other words, you gotta pay somebody. Right, a network or a promoter or a, a, an influencer, right, to send you these guys. So this is where you're spending money to acquire people. Now, what's cool about you building your list, which becomes your internal traffic source. And by the way, I'll give you a little, um, I'll jump ahead a little bit here and give you a little hint, okay? As you can see, okay, in module number 12, we call it the ultimate traffic media, okay? The ultimate traffic media, the best, the single most highest converting traffic if you do things right, okay? This is not a guarantee, but if you play your cards right, if you do what I'm gonna advise you to do here in this, uh, in this program, okay? Everything that you're doing is building your internal list, and then this becomes your ultimate traffic uh, uh, media, okay? This doesn't cost you anything because you can tap into this list any day any time, and the bigger the list, the more responsive the list, the more money you can make promoting anything. Okay, make sense? So have you heard of, you know, maybe some other marketer boasting, hey, I can send an email and I can, you know, generate money at will. I can print money, right? Well, what they're referring to most of the time is tapping into their internal traffic media, which is their list, and if they have good relationship with this list, Okay, they can tap into this list anytime, and if there is tr enough trust going on, right, uh, and they can generate, they can virtually, quote unquote, print money on demand, promoting or selling any products that, of course, talking, you know, delivers the result that these guys want. Does that make sense? So everything we do on the external side is channeling to building your internal traffic channel, okay, and then you will need to nurture that. We're, we're going to talk about that in just a moment here, okay? Um, Okay, so what I would like to do right now is speaking of, okay, uh, speaking of this external stuff, in my book, this is called advertising. This is what I do externally to attract people to my front door, be in my landing page, right? And then what I do in, once they're, you know, inside my house, how do I communicate with them? 
This is your internal communication. This is what I call marketing. This is where, where true marketing begins, right? <clears throat> and this is where we turn those visitors into um, prospects and then customers and then, you know, raving fans and loyal followers for life, hopefully, okay? So give me just one sec. Let me go ahead and raise this real quick, and I'm going to show you. Um, I'll, I'll walk you through uh, the... Um, I want a diagram to you, okay? What I call the the three levels of traffic, okay? The three levels of traffic. Um, and we're talking about external traffic, okay? Since we have like 11 of them here, uh, 11 different traffic channels, I'm just gonna uh, use my little node here because um, I don't wanna miss any one of these, okay? So let me just, let me just represent it with circles like this. So this is gonna be level one, okay? This will be level two, all right? And then we can say this will be level three right here. Okay, see that? Hopefully you can see it, yeah? Okay, so cool, you see the three levels of traffic. Now, let me explain to you, <clears throat> okay, which, what each one of these levels are, okay? So this particular one, okay, hopefully you can see that here, yep. Okay, so this level one will be the, um, I wanna say, you know what, this is gonna be the, the, the fast, we'll just call it fast traffic, okay? Fast results, okay? Fast, quick results, okay? This is where I wanna go out there and I wanna just grab the traffic. I just wanna command, I just wanna like siphon the traffic, you know what I mean? I wanna command traffic, I wanna just grab them and, and, and bring them to my website anytime I want, right? So I don't have to wait months, I don't have to wait weeks, I can just go out there and just get the traffic, right? Have you heard of the expression, go get the traffic? Well, this is what I need to understand how to do, okay? Level one will be things like, which is what we're gonna cover in the upcoming modules here, okay? This is gonna be our influencer, okay? Influencer media, all right? It will be uh, the 24 hour traffic, okay? Um, it will be social media traffic, all right? It will be display. So I'm giving you like a, like a breakdown of what to focus on in which order, okay? It'll be our pay-per-click traffic sources here, okay? And uh, that, would, that would actually be it for level one, okay? So these are, although we have, okay, um, take a look at my screen here, okay? So what I wanna do right now is I wanna give you, um, I want to give you the, um, you know what I mean, let me, let, me just, let me just do this right here, okay? Just this way we can be on the, I wanna, I wanna be as detailed in my notes as possible, okay? Let's do three, uh, three levels of traffic, okay? And then we can do level one, you know, if you are taking notes, maybe you'll take notes, okay? So, influencer media, I'll just abbreviate them, okay? Uh, level, level one. Okay, we'll call, we'll call this fast traffic, fast results traffic. Okay, and so this will be influencer, influencer media. Okay, um, it will be the 24 hour traffic media, right? It will be social media traffic. It would be display media, right? And of course, you'll learn all about it, and it will be pay-per-click, okay? So these are the sources that I will, or these are the traffic channels that I will tap into, and I will, um, I will focus on mastering these first, okay? I will focus on getting the results from these first before I uh, move on into level two, okay? Because what I'm gonna do here, okay, is I'm gonna go from level one, which is my nucleus, if you will, right? From level one, um, it will it will get me very quick. Um, it'll get me very quick response, right? It'll it'll give me the ability to 
to test my offers. It'll be, get me an ability to get very fast you know, response from the marketplace, the feedback from the marketplace to see if I'm on the right track before I start investing more money into, into marketing, right? So things like, for example, syndicate traffic or media traffic acts and things that we're going to be talking about later, later on, right? Those will be more of a level two type uh, strategies, okay? So um, if I would be, like, if I'm somebody who is just getting started, right, I would be asking myself, well, you know, uh, with all these different traffic sources here, what do I focus on first, second, third? What should be my focus as I'm learning, right, as I'm trying to master this? Here's what I'm going to tell you. You will pick either one of these, okay, one, two, three, four, five, either one of these five, and you will start there, okay? So you don't have to rush. You don't have to know all of these, like, literally in the next two days or, or, or a week, right? Take your time. You will, you will um, it's kind of like you building something with like Legos, right? I got six kids and, you know, I've got boys and they love to play Legos, you know, and so they, they want to build something, you know, they put this one Lego piece here and then they tag another one and tag another one. And before you know it, you know, before too long here, they got something, uh, you know, pretty awesome that they've built, right? So what we're talking about here is you becoming, you just, you, you go as far as you can see with one, right? This will prevent overwhelm, confusion for you uh, as an entrepreneur. Uh, so my recommendation to you is just go and focus on these modules first, okay? Just do a rundown, take a look at um, on these trainings from like a 10,000 foot overview because, you know, obviously when we get into the influencer media, there is specific channels. There's Facebook influencers, there's YouTube influencers, Snapchat influencers, Instagram influencers, right? How to reach those guys? Because those guys can get you traffic fast, right? To whatever offer it is that you're promoting. Um, once you understand how to do that, right, perhaps, um, then you'd be like, okay, I'm getting a result here. Now I'll just let this run and continue to accumulate, right? While I'm gonna tag on another traffic source, still in level one, right? This way you're not all over the place. You're not overwhelming yourself with like, oh my goodness, I need to understand level three stuff or level two stuff, but, but you never mastered level one stuff. See what I'm saying? So what you do is you expand outward like this, okay? Uh, and, and that becomes your, 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 you know, your game plan. Okay, am I making sense here? Let me know in the comments if this stuff makes sense. Okay, I don't, wanna, I don't want this module to be like super long, but again, this is, you need to understand how to go about doing this kind of stuff. Now, how long is it gonna take you to master level one stuff? When I say master, here's what I'm, what I'm saying. Don't go for just knowing, go for mastery. Look, you've invested in this course, you've got this, right? Nobody's gonna take this away from you. So go for mastery, like literally you, you know, live in this world for the next however long you need to live in this until you really understand. If you need to watch this or these trainings or some of these modules 53 times, or maybe it's 72, right? Look, so be it. You're playing a long game here. You're playing to, you know, a game to dominate in your space to become the best that you can possibly be, okay? Don't settle for average. Don't settle for just getting by and just hopefully make a sale here. Have a specific strategy that you're going to execute that's going to get you a certain result, right? You want to be certain in your marketing. You, you want to go for certainty, not the lucky game, right? You want to you be certain that, hey, if I do this, this, and this, I can expect this, this, and this, right? You don't know that until you master this. And how do you master? When you understand and implement, and then you can teach somebody else, and that somebody else would understand it. That's how you know that you mastered something, okay? All right, so... Um, Okay, so that's level one stuff, okay? And again, we're going to get into this uh, on, a, on a per module basis for each one of these, okay? But hopefully this will clear up some air for you or maybe lift some, you know, some fog, metaphorical fog, right? Um, and give you um, a little bit of a clarity on, you know, how this thing will, uh, how, to, how to navigate this, okay? All right, so that's level one stuff. Let's talk about level two stuff, okay? Uh, level two... Okay, it would be, um, I, would, I, would, I would call level two more like, um, here, I'll tell you what level two will be. Okay, there's going to be two things we're going to be focusing on. Okay, CPA. Okay, CPA traffic. Uh, and then uh, we're going to focus on traffic, media, X. 
Traffic Media X. Now, this, <clears throat> I would call this, let's go ahead and put this up here. Okay, this way if you're taking notes, you can take notes on your side there. Okay, level one. All right, let's do level two. Okay, we're going we're gonna to call this strategic scale. Okay, where you get fast traffic results or fast results traffic here in level one. Level two, you will strategically scale, okay, your results. All right, so we're talking CPA traffic media. And, and what I'm saying, when I'm talking about CPA traffic media, my friend, let me just, you know, do a little pit stop here. Let me just tell you this. There are networks I'm going to show you in that module, okay? Don't, don't try to master that module now before mastering this stuff first, okay? When I talk, when I, we get into this right here, I'm going to show you some strategies that you'll be able to take your offer. That's why, like, testing first, getting your results first from these, okay, and then applying those results or scaling those results onto level two, you can go to network, CPA, cost per action. This is not, you know, certified public accountant, right? Uh, we're talking about, you know, cost per action networks. And I can go out there to these networks uh, and, uh, and I can say, you know what? <clears throat> I want 50,000 visitors to my website or better yet, if I'm promoting an offer, maybe it's a, a, you know, a trial offer, maybe it's a, uh, you know, maybe I just want to get opt-ins instead of visitors, like whatever you want, whatever your, your, your action, desired action is, it can be a sale, it can be a visitor, right? It can be an opt-in, it can be a trial, it can be uh, a lead, like whatever it is, like, right? You know, there's, there's a lot of giant companies, Apple is utilizing this, uh, MasterCard, Visa, um, you know, Amer I mean, all these, all these, you know, pharmaceutical companies out there, insurance companies, right? They're utilizing this model and they're literally spending millions and millions of dollars on CPA traffic because they know their numbers, right? So as entrepreneurs are very afraid to go here if you don't have a proven offer, okay? So if somebody hears about this idea, well, I'm just going to go to CPA traffic. Vic said that this is, you know, a fast traffic. Look, I can go there, right? And I can say, you know what? I want 50,000 leads a day, okay? No problem. It will be delivered. Now, before I can do that, I better have proven model, right, with level one stuff so that when I scale, I know that if I'm going to pay for 50,000 leads, I don't even care how, many, you know, how much in traffic they need to drive to my, to my page to get me 50,000 leads, and I only pay for a lead which becomes my action, all right, that I'm paying for. Okay, again, we'll talk more about that in that module when we get there. Uh, but uh, this is called CPA traffic. So these super affiliates, hundreds and thousands of them, can drive traffic, okay, to my offer, and I just pay for the result. But you don't go there, all right, because it's level two. You need to master level one. You need to know your numbers, and then you scale to level two. You become unstoppable. Like, like, like if you want to just completely dominate whatever it is that you're doing, Right? You'll be able to do that. So if you recall at the beginning of this module, right, I talked to you about the, the rules of traffic and playing the, more of a long-term game. And also it's not about the product, it's about the offer right, and how you structure it. Well, this becomes more relevant as we get deeper into this right? because where everybody else, let's say there is 100,000 people promoting an offer. right? There could be great demand in it. Uh, but if you're competing with 100,000 people, Guess what? When you go to a CPA network and you're just competing based on the offer alone, it's really difficult for you to stand out. But if you perfect, uh, if you're competing on a product, I think I, I said the offer, right? If you're competing on a product alone, you don't really stand out, right? So you just like, okay, you, you, you really have no control. But if you're competing on the offer and making yourself, you, making your offer unique that has been tested here on level one, when you go to level two, game over. You don't have any competition. You can just dominate the marketplace like nobody else can. Make sense? And so when we're talking about uh, uh, Traffic Media X, this is where you can really start focusing. Once you get these to work, right, and you're getting consistent traffic here, all right, it snowballs. You have traffic coming from different directions. By the way, never depending on any one of these long-term individually or alone, right? Because what if you're doing uh, social media traffic and then all of a sudden there is no more Facebook tomorrow, right? Who knows? It happened right? Uh, with MySpace. Um, so if you just depend, I can tell you this from experience, you know, when I got started, uh, you know, everybody would go and, and do Google pay-per-click, 
Edwards. It was super easy, man. And one morning I wake up, right? We would be, I mean, we would be getting like 80, you know, like visitor for like 80 cents and 50 cents per visitor on Google AdWords. I mean, I could literally run a campaign. This was back in 2007, probably 2008. Uh, but I could get, I could create a campaign on Google AdWords, right? Start a campaign 15 minutes later, I would be on the first page of Google f with that ad, right? Generating traffic from Google's first page for like 50 cents a visitor, right? Uh, it was super easy. Um, and then one morning I wake up and it's like, you know, I log into my Google AdWords account and my cost per click went up from like 50 cents to $10. Right, and I, I, people were like shocked and panicking, like, "What the heck is going on over here?" Well, it turns out Google just slapped everybody, right, and they literally wiped out uh, hundreds of thousands of marketers off their platform overnight, right, uh, with a click of a mouse. You know what I mean? So it happened, and people, including myself at the time, who were dependent solely on that one traffic channel, uh, we we just, you know, we found ourselves having no business. Because you don't have business, you don't have that air. Imagine if you don't have, if all of a sudden you just, you know, like close your nose in your, in your mouth and just stop breathing, right? That's what happened to your business, right? You don't have the air, you don't have the oxygen, you can't breathe, you can't sustain yourself. So never depend on anyone. That's why I'm telling you, master level one stuff first before moving to level two stuff. So far, so good? You with me? Okay, make sense? Again, before we get into these strategies, you need to understand the game that you're playing. All right, level three Okay, let me, I guess, let me I'll go ahead and finish up here. Traffic Media X here. This is where we're going to discover and uncover new traffic sources at will. Okay, and then uh, let me put level three traffic for you here. So this is where Okay, let's see here. Level three, okay, we're going to talk about, hopefully you can see it. This is perpetual, okay, traffic machine, okay, and then um, we'll have syndicate, syndicate. I'm just going to abbreviate it, okay? Perpetual traffic machine and syndicate traffic. What we're talking about here, okay, if this is scale, strategic scale, by the way, right? Now, level three, we're talking domination. Okay, uh, and I don't mean like in a bad, you know, uh, in a bad meaning here, in a bad uh, uh, term, domi like dominate, as I'm like, I'm better than you. No, 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 this is strategic domination. This is where you become like you, you like you control the, the space right and so how do you do that is once you have this to work once you have an offer that's high in demand right you can scale it if you want and then what you do is you take what's working here because it's been proven to work on a massive scale right on a massive level what you do is now you can create your own version of what I call the perpetual traffic machine, by this time, again, you playing long game, again, see how things are clicking together, right? Remember a few minutes ago, I had a, you know, I had a strategy for you written out to where, and I said, it's not about the product, it's about the offer, and you need to be playing one of the traffic rules is play a long-term game, right? Play strategically long-term. So we're, this is where you're building you. So what you do is now you have so much data Right? for the offer that you're promoting. Now you can create yourself uh, an affiliate-driven traffic machine, okay? which I've done this several times in my career, okay? to where now you're building your list. See what I'm saying? You're communicating with your list, uh, and your list can now become your affiliate base for the machine that you can create. And, and you're doing it in a way that they're winning, and you're winning, and it's a win-win situation. And this, way you, you can, I mean, you literally like, you go, this is where you play, you know, this is the millionaire league, okay? Um, and then syndicate traffic, this is where you start syndicating with high, you know, high players out there in the industry, and, you know, you get, you know, you tap into, again, we're going to talk about this in the, um, uh, in those modules when we get there, okay? But this is what's called, this is what I call the external traffic map for you, okay? Does that make sense so far? Okay? I know I, you know, there's, there's probably a lot to consume for you right now, and you're like, oh my goodness, this is, 
Okay, don't worry about it, all right? Don't get like frustrated, overwhelmed, and be like, oh my goodness, I have to learn all of this. Yes, you do. You have to learn all of this, uh, but you don't have to know this all, you know, like right away. You know what I mean? Give yourself, give yourself time. Like if it's gonna take you a month, a, a year, couple years, right? Doesn't matter, but I, I probably wouldn't take a couple years because, you know, this, this stuff might change, you know, uh, two years from now. Uh, but what I'm telling you is this, is focus on becoming great at traffic generation, okay? Because that's how you win in the game of marketing. Okay, this is one pillar, all right? Traffic generation. So hopefully this gives you, a, you know, a, a nice uh, focus um, idea of what to focus on, okay? Now, here is something else, okay? Uh, this is level one stuff, okay? What's level two stuff, okay? Check it out. All of these traffic sources, okay, how do I present it to you? Okay, let's see, how far can you see down below? Okay, you can see a little bit below here, right? Um, here's what I'm going to tell you, all right? There is, there is something else that we cannot say that this is external. Well, it, it's, it's external, but this is uh, a category in of itself, okay? And we're going to put that in a, uh, we're going to put that in a box, okay? We're going to make the box, I don't have... I don't have a red color marker here, which I wanted to put that in red color for you, okay? But I'll just make it more of a, of a you know, prominent box here, okay? Doesn't matter what happens here uh, with the traffic activity, level one, level two, level three, anything that you're doing externally, okay, to drive traffic, every single visitor that ever hits your site Okay, ultimately, this is the ultimate idea here, the big idea, okay? The ultimate idea is you want to retarget, okay? You want to retarget every single visitor, every single click. See what I'm saying? So why is that important? Because when you send these guys here, okay, to a landing page, okay? Let me just, uh, I think we can, okay, all of these people here, okay? All of these people, okay, they would have to go to a landing page, right? Imagine this, a landing page. You can still see it here, yeah? Yeah, you can. This is a landing page. This is where they get to your list when they opt in, okay? They get on your list. This becomes your internal, okay? Ultimately, all this activity here drives your ultimate traffic media channel and builds that ultimate traffic media channel, which is your internal list, okay, that you can tap into anytime with an email, okay? It doesn't cost you anything. So you will capture, again, like I said, about 20 to 60% on average, okay, of these people externally being driven to this landing page. Now, what about people that don't opt in? See what I'm saying? One of the rules is don't waste traffic, right? So how do you not waste traffic? Well, what you do is you retarget. So if you have an influencer, for example, right? You go to a YouTube influencer and somebody has already built a large following on YouTube or maybe Facebook or uh, any one of those other, you know, uh, uh, major uh, channels out there or platforms. And you go, you can tap into those influencers, which I want to show you how to do. And you can say, hey, here is my landing page, right? Here's my landing page. Um, I want you to send me uh, some traffic, right? And you pay them a little bit of money or whatever, how much, however much they're asking, you know, we're going to talk about that when we get to that module. Uh, and so that influencer goes out to work for you. Now, what's cool about that? Well, you don't have to, you know, you don't really have to come up with like campaigns and talk to those people, right? He already has a list. He already has an influence. He already has an audience. And he simply talks to them, sending and redirecting those audience to your landing page, that and your landing page, if done properly, right? If you're a smart marketer that you are, that you should be, being a member of the 4%, you should be talking about the result, right? The offer, not so much about the product necessarily, about the result that your product can get them. So you connect them with those visitors, right? And, uh, and that's how you build your external, so, or your, your internal list. Now, what if they don't opt in here? Well, what you do is every single visitor that gets here, okay? your landing page should have what's called a retargeting pixel, and we're gonna have a, a whole module on retargeting, okay? Retargeting traffic media, how to set it up. There is two ways to do it, two major ways to do it, right? There is social, and there is uh, the retargeting media on the internet, like the, 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 the rest of the inventory on the retargeting. 
Uh, and so what you do is regardless whether they opted in or not, as soon as they landed on your landing page, right, uh, a pixel is going to fire, okay, and you're going to build a retargeting pool. Okay? You're going to build this cloud here, okay? Let's just call it retargeting pool of people, all right? And then we're going to tap, we're going to follow them around on the internet, okay? So have you ever, have you ever went to a site, um, maybe it was ladies, maybe you went purchase, you know, shop for like a shoes or something, right? Or maybe a purse. And then you left that site, you didn't buy anything, and then all of a sudden you see that product kind of, you know, you see ads for that product all over the place, right? You go to weather.com, you go to, you know, Huffington Post, you go to like any of the major networks or sites out there on the internet, and all of a sudden you see that ad like popping up all the time. You're like, what the heck is going on here, right? Well, it's not so much like revolutionary anymore, uh, but, it, but it used to be, right? We introduced that concept back with High Traffic Academy when it was first introduced to the market and it changed the game. Because what you can do is even though if they did not opt in, but they visited, they, they landed on your site, you're building yourself a pool, a giant, giant pool of people, right, that you can retarget with ads on social media, right? You can do uh, um, pay-per-click campaigns for them, or you can target with them with display media ads. And the cool thing about that is your, your cost to retarget those people is going to be a fraction of what it would originally cost you to acquire them in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So you're winning in both ways. And again, that module on retargeting will, will tell you exactly how to do that. Uh, so it's really, really, really important for you to understand this concept because when you, inf when you uh, utilize influencer media, Okay? And you get all these guys promoting for you and sending you these large amounts of traffic right, to your landing page. If you're not retargeting, you, you, like, you're leaving so much money and you're wasting so much traffic, it's not even funny. You know what I mean? Uh, when you're retargeting, whether it's 24-hour traffic, social media, display, like any, even CPA. Let's say, let's, say if I go, let's say if I start scaling right, and I go to CPA traffic and I have all these you know, um, super affiliates sending me tens of, th potentially hundreds of thousands of visitors to my site. Like every visitor becomes a, re like gets here, like every single visitor. So this pool, I can literally build a pool of like millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and mi millions of people, right, that I can follow around on the internet with my ads and then paying peanuts, well, literally like fraction of, of like a penny, right? to bring them back to whatever it is that I'm promoting, right? And so I can be promoting different offer, you know, six months from now, as long as those uh, audiences are congruent with the outcome that they originally looked at or responded to your ad for, right? I can monetize them. So this becomes um, a category in of itself. Does that make sense? So you've got your internal, right? That builds, uh, you, you, you've got your external rather, excuse me, okay? External that builds your internal, but then you got your retargeting, which is like a safety net, right? That creates longevity in your business. This is a phenomenal, this is basically what, right here, what you've got, as simple as it sounds, as simple as it looks, my friend, you've got a multi, like a hundred million dollar traffic plan right here in front of you, okay? Like literally, if I'm, like if I were to scale a company from, from zero to a hundred million dollars plus in sales, okay? several hundreds of millions of dollars a year in sales. This is the traffic blueprint that I would focus on, literally, okay? Level one, level two, level three, retarget everything right from the get-go, build your internal, and then what you do here is, you know, different conversation for different topic, for different module, for different product maybe, right? But I'm telling you, this right here will be like, if you really want to master this, um, uh, mass promotion engineering is going to be something that's really, really important because what you, how you talk to these guys here, how you present your offers, you know, it's all subliminal stuff and um, uh, uh, understanding, you know, the, the, the buyer and the, 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 pro the prospect psychology, all that stuff becomes really, really relevant. So, again, this is a plan for you, right? If you're taking notes, take notes, but I want to make sure that you understand this conceptually. I want to make sure that you understand the why behind this where most people, as you can see right now, right, hopefully by this time, you know, we've been talking for like an hour right now or so, right, uh, most people in your space, they would be looking at something like this and I'd be like, I'm just gonna go for display media traffic, not taking care of this, right, not understanding internal, not understanding any of this stuff, or somebody would be like, well, I just gotta get here, or I'm gonna start building this, with, like, 
jumping all over the place, not having a specific path or specific strategy to follow, right? And they'll be spinning their wheels all the time. This way, if you recall from the beginning of this, uh, you know, of this course, everything we do is there for a reason, right? So as you're getting traffic, it needs to, it needs to lead, it needs to kind of extend into, a, you know, the second strategy and the next strategy and so forth, right? So this becomes like a big net for you in your business of this traffic generation. So every click, every visitor is, as they're coming into your world, there is a specific reason and specific outcome and specific direction that you will channel them, regardless if they do business with you immediately or not, okay? I know there's a little bit too much for you probably here, right? But let's see where we are here. Okay, so we've covered, uh, we've covered that, okay, level three. Let me go ahead and do the level three here for you, if you're taking notes, level three. Okay, what do we call it? We call it domination, okay? This is where you can call your shots and you, you, really, uh, you really become the dominant figure here in your space, okay? So with that, we're talking about per, perpetual traffic machine. Okay, and uh, we're talking about syndicate. syndicate, strategic syndicate, okay, which we're going to talk about in those modules, okay, so these are the three levels of traffic, okay, there we go. Okay, now, uh, something else I want to I make sure that you understand here, okay, so successful campaign rollout strategy, okay, again, I touched upon this a little bit, okay, but uh, let me go ahead and close these off. Okay, and this way we can just you know, keep it nice and clean. You see how, you know, you can multiply your results with less work, right? The more, uh, you know, the longer you deploy these, okay? You see how all these things kind of tie together? You see how there is a, you know, there is a, a science behind it as well as an art? You see how, there, you know, the, these different strategies come together uh, for a, a specific purpose, right? So how do you deploy or how do you create successful campaign rollout Okay, basically what you do, okay, what you do is you start small, okay? You'll be tempted to throw a lot of money to traffic generation. What I would do is this. I would start small, okay? Start with what you can afford. Um, let me just put it this way. I'll be completely honest with you, right? Um, some people come to me and they're like, Vic, I don't have 20 bucks, right? Well, if you don't have 20 bucks to, to, you know, to run some advertisement, uh, for your business, your hands are kind of tight, right? So um, start looking at it yourself as a business owner, right? Not a business operator. It's a big difference, right? When you look at yourself as a business operator, you're like, well, I don't have the money. Okay, great, right? A business owner, you got to be resourceful, okay? Look, what you've got here, right? With what I'm teaching you right now in this program, you know, inside 4% through the challenge, through, you know, the mass promotion, engineer, you know, engineering, all these, it's, it's helping you become independent to where you can write your own check in life, right? You can create your own economy. You really can't do this, like you can't. But understand this, it's like a farmer, right? It, he needs to get the seeds. Whether he has the money or not, it doesn't matter. Like if I wanted to get the crop, I better come up with the money to get the seed, right? If I don't have the money to get the seed, I can't complain about not getting the crop. It'll be foolish. So some, you know, I, I see some people out there, you know, in our space complaining about not getting the crop, right? Because their complaint is, well, I don't have the money to get the, you know, to get the seed, okay? This is your job. Like, figure out, if you're going to build a successful business, just figure out, you know, is there something that you can liquidate in your house? You know, if you're building an online business here, I can tell you this, um, it doesn't take, like, it doesn't take a lot of money, but it takes a little bit of money, seed money, right? You need to seed you know, you need to seed your business, okay? But then you need to go about it strategically. So what I would do is I would start with maybe a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, okay? Maybe five hundred dollars, um, and then do a strategic rollout campaigns. So what you would do is you would take a look at level one traffic stuff right here, okay? Whether it's influencer media, twenty-four hour, you know, any any one of these modules that you resonate with the most, right? So just go through them first, just take a look at it from like a ten thousand foot overview, and then be like, no. I kind of like I kind of like that module the best, right? I think I can, you know, like I, I I feel like I resonate with this traffic channel the best, 
right? Or maybe it's this one, or maybe it's this one. So once you've looked through all of these five modules, right, in level one, then come back to it and then decide which one you want to play with first. Decide which one you want to master first and then go at it. And then when you go at it, right, you start small. 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. I wouldn't go for less than probably 100 bucks because you really don't have enough data coming back to you, right? So figure out um, how to get the seed money that you need, right, to start out small. And then what you would do is you would get the feedback and see what's working, what's not working. See what I'm saying? So the rollout strategy is always going to be small. Again, some people want their, you know, want me to, to give them a, a specific number. I'll tell you, anywhere from $100 to $500 would be a, would be a start, okay? It would be a start. Um, if you can't swing more, swing more, but don't, like, don't mortgage out your house, you know, or sell your house to, you know, and just dump all the money blindly in traffic generation because that would be foolish. At the same time, you know, you don't want to be overly, you know, cautious because, uh, you know, if you don't stretch yourself, you know, have some skin in the game, right? This becomes a game for you um, and it becomes something that you, like, you want to get emotionally involved with this. Don't look at this as like, okay, if I can put this money in, if I don't get nothing back, then I'm out. This is a scam or whatever the thing is, right? No, this is a business. Business has no emotions, okay? Business, there is a science to the business. There is also an art to the business. If there was just a science, everybody could be rich because anybody could just learn the science, okay? The science would be like promoting a product. Boom, here you got the product. Here you got the 24-hour traffic media module. Boom, get the traffic to the product, and you're winning every time. If it was that simple, everybody would be millionaires, right? But it's not. It's not about the product, it's about the offer. So understand, give yourself the chance, you know, give yourself the time that you need. There's a gestation period to every living organism, right? When a baby is conceived, it's about nine months before the baby is born, right? When you plant a carrot seed, there's a gestation period to that carrot seed. When you plant an acorn, right, or whatever, there's a gestation period. So what you're doing right now, if you're just getting started, understand that there's gonna be a gestation period in your business before you start seeing some results. So when you, when you approach your business from that direction, you know, it'll be, uh, uh, it'll be easier for you to build something significant. Make sense? Okay, uh, and then uh, um, let's see, this final piece here I wanted to cover in this module, just strategic campaigns and virulosity. Again, part of it, uh, we talked about it, okay? It's not about the product, it's about the offer. We're gonna talk more about that later on. Uh, virulosity, uh, here's what I mean by virulosity, okay? Every Thing that I do, okay? Everything that I do personally, I want to become a guinea pig, okay? So if I run a campaign, you want to have, um, you want to have this mindset of a teacher, okay? What's marketing? Marketing is teaching, okay? So if I, if I sell product, let's say if I sell 4%, and if I just start talking to you about marketing stuff, right? Uh, just about the product. You know, here is the features, here is what it is, da, 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 it's boring, okay? But if I am start, if I understand what it is that I'm doing and I'm starting, and I'm, I'll start to teach you some principles and ideas that will help you become better, right? And I take that approach, my marketing is going to be a lot more effective because you will resonate with me because I'm teaching you something, see what I'm saying? I'm giving you an appetizer, right? And you like it or not, right? And then, you know, depending on the, the feedback, uh, that's the direction we're going to go. So marketing doesn't matter what it is you're promoting. You know, whether you're in fitness, let's say if you're somebody who, you know, helps people be, you know, lose weight and become fit or whatever, right? Well, your marketing is educating the marketplace. Uh, that's how you can stand out. Uh, so you become the guinea pig. You test what's working in your space, what's not working. And then what I want to do, okay, is my idea a little bit later on as I scale to level three here. And again, we're going to talk more about this, right? You understand this, you understand this. This becomes your virulosity piece, okay? This becomes, I learned this concept back in 2010, okay? When I launched out a campaign for myself uh, and, uh, and it was, it was, I was getting great results from it. I was promoting an affiliate product, right, from ClickBank. I was getting about $100 per sale, uh, you know, for affiliate offer. I was promoting it through the offer, not the product directly, right? Just like I was teaching you here just a moment ago. Uh, and I was getting great results. I scaled it 
it continued to get me great results. I became number one income earner for that particular offer on ClickBank very, very quickly. I'd say probably within about 30 days or so. And then what I did is I started, I created this perpetual traffic machine, okay? And then every single person that got here or that purchased the product, okay? I allowed them to use my, tra my perpetual traffic machine that I created and it created virulosity. So you have an army of people propagating you and your message, right? Your perpetual traffic machine to help them and also build you simultaneously. It's called virulosity, okay? So again, we're gonna talk about it more in detail. If you're in 4%, you know, through the challenge, if you're going through the challenge, you know, if you're going through the mass promotion engineering product, um, you will learn a whole lot about that concept as well. But this is more of an advanced uh, type stuff that we're gonna be, you know, getting into. Um, we have a lot, you know, to dig into. Uh, and hopefully if you stuck, you know, to the end of this module, hey, let me know in the comments if you've completed. You know, if you got to this point in the module, first module, here's what I'll tell you. Most people that purchased and invested money in this product, they would not get to this point right now in module one, right? Most people, as crazy as it might sound, most people will, you know, think that they know all of this stuff, right? And they would be like, well, just teach me display media traffic, just teach me, you know, PPC, and they'll just jump into those modules. Look, if you stuck through this, here's what I want you to do. In the comments below, let me know. Just tell me what you think about this. Let me know if this makes sense to you. Let me know if you're pumped. Let me know if you're excited about building your traffic uh, game plan, right? Do it properly. Let me know if you're gonna execute according to the map, right? See, the, the, the methods might change a little bit, but the map does not change. Fast traffic, fast results, scale, sustainability, virulosity, okay? Domination. All right, look, my friend, I appreciate you. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get um, to uh, module number two, okay, where we're going to dig into whatever we're going to talk about in that module. And this concludes module number one, rules, strategy, and the game plan. I appreciate you. Go ahead and post your comment below. Let me know what you thought about this, and I'll see you in module number next. Bye. All right, are we back? Are we back? All right, hey everybody. So that was module from Internet Traffic Mastery. How did you like it? If you liked it, I would appreciate if you give me like a like or something like this. If you can share it with somebody, uh, that would be awesome. So here's what I wanted to tell you next, okay? Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got some nuggets from it, all right? Promise you, if you watch this second time, if you watch this third time, fifth time, you will be picking up new ideas, new nuggets every single time you watch it, okay? Um, okay, so there are a couple of things I want to tell you, right? Um, most businesses fail. You guys know what the number one reason why most businesses fail? Okay? Why do most businesses fail? Okay? Most businesses fail because, well, I'm not going to write it down, I'm just going to tell you, because of lack of sales, okay? A lack of sales. Lack of sales, no money, business fails, right? Sales is like, is like oxygen, right, to a human being, so is sales to the business. Now, now yeah, hopefully you guys can, can see, right, what I'm, what I'm stemming from here is this should be effortless, right? So if, if you do certain things in your marketing, in your business, it doesn't matter what you're promoting, this should become effortless to you, okay? And I'm going to be teaching you how to do this, how to engineer it, because I've lived it, and I'm doing this. This is kind of like what I've, you know, kind of the, the model that I've perfected for myself, and, and this is the stuff that I follow, you know, every time when I create a, a campaign promotion, if you've been following me, um, you know, you, you probably have seen that, okay? But everything stems from traffic generation. Now, question for you is this, okay? If sales result in business success or failure, okay, how do you get the sales is through this process, okay? And if we want to have effortless sales, we need to master this. Question for you, okay, do you want to master literally master traffic generation. Like all that stuff that, that you know, we discussed in module one here that I played for you, okay? The 24 hour media, the influencer traffic, all that stuff, just literally master traffic generation. This is one thing that you should be great at as an entrepreneur, as a marketer, four areas. Traffic, list building, conversions, sales. This is easy. 
when you get when you understand this, when you master the three things, then you can call your shots. The single most important skill. Any marketer, if you're marketing anything, if you're getting you know, out there, getting your message out there, you should be focusing not on the gadgets, not on the widgets, not on the you know. Uh, the, the, the fancy stuff, the stuff that's useless, you should be investing in yourself to make sure that you can, you master these three for, for whatever it is that you're doing, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link up here for you guys. If you are interested, if you already have Internet Traffic Mastery, awesome, go through that program 50 times if you have to, okay? Every single time you go through it, you will learn something new. Here's what I want you to do right now. If you've enjoyed this session, okay, uh, the entrepreneur, the 4% Entrepreneur Show, this was a traffic segment. We will be diving deeper into these other things here. Um, if you can do me a favor, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you picked up from this. Let me know if you enjoyed this session. Um, hit that like button. I would appreciate that. That shows me your love you know, for the, the rest of the stuff that we're going to be putting out there. If you need help, if you are somebody who is like, hey, I'm committed. I want to master traffic generation. I, I want to own that knowledge. I want to I I know that process in and out, like the back of your hand, right? Like, you, you're not guessing, you're not dependent on anybody, you're, you're, you're following a proven model, right, that gets you proven results. Here it is, level one, level two, level three. What do you do, all that stuff, and we didn't even get to, I'm not sure if you can see this. Can we get a close up on this one? See this right here? This final segment, this is another piece that we're adding to the Internet Traffic Master. This is the actual master's program on data aggregation. That's like the next level stuff, and that is being uh, that's, that's advanced training that we are going to be adding to the um, ITM as well. If you need help with this, okay, and I mean mastery help, okay, I would love to help you. Here's what I'm going to do. For those of you guys who stuck around this long, all right, we've been here for about an hour and a half now, okay, um, I'm going to reward you. If you would like to get your hands on Internet Traffic Mastery, I'm going to put a link up in here, okay, you'll be able to go there. And it's not a fancy looking page or anything like that. This is specifically for you. That's for private invitation only. You will not see that being a public page. You will go to four, oh, not four. You're going to go to four. Hang on one sec. Let's get this right, you know. Four percent, OK, dot com slash, um, I think it's master traffic. Let me double check. I think it's master traffic. I'll double check on that one here for you. And what I'm going to do, for those of you guys who would like to get your hands on this, master traffic. OK, you'll go master, master traffic, all one word. OK? This is only for those of you guys who got to this point. This link will not be out there anywhere publicly. Uh, this will get you. If you're not part of the, if you don't have Internet Traffic Mastery, and if you would like to get your hands on it and literally master it, it will get you 50% off. This will be limited time. If you want to get on it, you'll be emailed instructions and all that stuff. Um, please do not share this. This is, again, this is not going to be a public link. This is only for those of you guys who got here. Um, if you just want to learn for free, feel free, you know, but uh, I wanted to, since we talked about Internet Traffic Mastery, again, this is a, it's like a 14-hour in-depth meat and potatoes, similar style like you know what you just witnessed, internet traffic mastery. So look, um, appreciate you. So whatever you do, hopefully you picked up a nugget through. Regardless what it is that you want to do, you know, um, moving forward here, my wish for you is become the master of the key areas in your business, in your marketing that will make you great, that will help you create your dream that you want to create. All right, and write your ticket in life. You can do this. I'm a living proof. We've got thousands, literally thousands of testimonials. We're going to be actually launching out in a, a, a big hub. A 4percent.com will be a big hub for everything entrepreneur. Um, tons and tons of free training will be there. Streaming daily, um, just lots and lots of cool stuff that is being developed right now. Uh, and um, looking forward to hanging out with you more in the next coming upcoming episodes. Um, again, if you want it, go there. You know, put yourself on the uh, on the list. We'll create a little special link for you, and uh, and we'll connect with you. Um, if not, regardless, have a fantastic day. And remember, strive to be a four percenter. God bless. See you next time.